friends, uh, once again, thank you for uh, joining me in today's program uh, in continuation of um, how to live and manage type 2 diabetics. Uh, this is the part 3, how to live and manage type 2 diabetics. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be discussing three or possible false topics. I'm going to be discussing symptoms and diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, the symptoms of type 2 diabetics. Second, I'm going to be discussing type 2 diabetics treatments. Uh, third, I'm going to be discussing low carb. And if I have more time, I'm going to discuss about glucose testing and then the medication. I'm going to take it, if time will permit me, I'm going to make it short so I'll be able to put everything in this video. For full disclosure, I'm not a medical practitioner or medical doctor. This video is an educating video. The ch my channel is all about educating, enlightenment of understanding the meaning of being a diabetic patient, living and managing with it, especially people in Africa where I come from. So I am a diabetic patient. So I'm sharing my experiences of living and managing diabetes for the past 10 years. So that is why I've decided to take this journey and uh, put out this video for my people in Africa to be able to understand the importance of knowing the basics of being a diabetic patient and how to live and manage it. So full disclosure, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a certified medical doctor, I'm living and managing diabetics personally for the past 10 years. So I decided to use this channel to enlighten my people back home in Africa, the importance of understanding diabetics. And then secondly, it is personal to me because I have lost a lot of family members within a space of three years. I've lost about five family members who died because of the complication of diabetics. So that is why I decided to, you know what, I have to bring this out and enlighten people in Africa that it is a must. Once you are a diabetic patient, there are bases that you have to understand in order to be able to help yourself live and manage diabetics. So that is it. I'm going to stand. There's a question I received on my previous video that I, I'm going to trash it out just very quick. And that question is that, do you have to be overweight to get type 2 diabetics? Very simple. Being overweight, okay, is associated with type 2 diabetics. Even those that have a healthy weight also sometimes diagnose with this disease. So it doesn't matter once you are uh, once you are obese, overweight. There are tendency in high proportion that you may end up having type two diabetics. Now, even those with a healthy weight also tend to end up having type two diabetics, which is called sometimes skinny type two diabetics. There are different kinds of names they flow around. You know, it's called a skinny type two diabetics. And what is this skinny type two diabetes? It's a condition found with individuals that has low amount of uh, subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is a fat that is found beneath the skin. Okay, it's a fat beneath the skin. Remember, the skin has three layers. It has the epidermis, it has the dermis, and it has the subcutaneous fat. So it that is the one that is subcutaneous fat is found in the deepest part of the skin. So when you have the low amount of subcutaneous fat and high visceral or abdominal fat, then you have the high proportion of developing type 2 diabetics. That means that good fat, you have it in low quantity, which is called subcutaneous fat. While you have high quantity of abdominal fat or visceral fat, so you have high proportion of developing type 2 diabetes. That is why when I see my people with a big stomach, they say it's a sign of living. That is not a sign of living. That's a sign of health, death. Having a big stomach is not a sign of good health. It's a disease we are carrying. So I advise my people in Africa that if you have a big tummy, please, I advise you to enter the gym and start bringing it out. So that is the question I want to chip in. Okay? Being and having a, a overweight, yes, you are associated with type 2 diabetics. Even if you have a good weight size, you have a tendency of developing type 2 diabetics. Okay? So that is it in that aspect. So now what are the symptoms of type 2 diabetics i've said it in my intro or in my other videos that i've saying i've i've chipped them in in my discussion what are the symptoms of type 2 diabetics now this is symptoms of type 2 diabetics excessive test when you are drinking a lot of water excessive test second frequent urination when you are urinating a lot increased hunger extreme tiredness and sudden loss of muscle mass. Let me repeat again. Symptoms of type 2 diabetics. One, excessive thirst. Two, frequent urination. Three, a increased hunger. Four, extreme tiredness. And lastly, five, sudden loss of muscle mass. These are the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Now, sometimes you can notice these symptoms. Sometimes you can notice them. You might have type 2 diabetes within you, within yourself for two, three, 
four, five, six months without even knowing that they are type 2 diabetes because the symptoms develop slowly, gradually. The most visible symptom that you can notice immediately within a space of short period of time is the frequent urination or having a blood vision. But in most cases, people with type 2 diabetes doesn't notice this, those symptoms. You might have it for two, three months, six months before you finally know that you are type 2 diabetes. So that is it for type 2 diabetes. So I would advise you that anytime you are having a frequent urination or blood vision, okay, I would advise you to seek a doctor's opinion, run some blood tests, urine tests to rule certain things out and to rule certain things in then you stand a chance of know what is wrong with you. Now, the second topic I'm going to be discussing is type 2 diabetes treatment. I'm going to summarize this, type 2 diabetes treatment, okay? On type 1 diabetes, you need insulin regularly according to your doctor's, prescri doctor's prescription. You need insulin to always bring your sugar level up when it is down below the normal level. That's type 1 diabetics. On type 2 diabetics, there are different kinds of medication, drugs, that doctor can prescribe to you in order to help you uh, regulate the level of blood, I mean the level of sugar in your bloodstream. So now, apart from medication prescribed to you, treatment of diabetes, you have to balance your diet. You've got to change your diet. There are certain food that you've been eating in the past that have contributed to this type diabetes have to be dropped or sacrificed for good. So you have to now balance your diet, eat a healthy food. That is one. Two, exercise. You have to be active in exercise. Okay. And three, you have to be on drugs. These three things will help you manage your diabetes effectively, okay? I'm going to read something here that I wrote down. Uh, it says, first line of treatment for type 2 diabetes typically include combination of diet modification with regular and appropriate exercise. That's what I just said, okay? And your doctor will advise, is in a good position to advise you according to your preference because if you have a family doctor, he knows your history, he knows your capabilities, then he'll be able to fashion out a program how to treat your diabetics. So your doctor is always the best person that is going to direct you on how to treat your diabetics and live with it. So three things in treating your diabetics is balancing your diet, eating a healthy food, one. Two, uh, being active in exercise. You have to be active now in exercising various kinds of exercise. Walking, going to gym, playing some games with your daughter, with your son in the field. These are all exercises. And then third one is being on medication. Good thing is that type 2 diabetics has medication, has drugs. There are kinds of them that doctor can prescribe for you. This will help you to put your diabetes in check, in control. So that is the best three ways to treat type 2 diabetics, okay? Three things is balancing your diet first, two exercising, and three prescribed medication through your family doctor, okay? Now, the next topic is low carb. I've said it in my previous video, what is, you have to know how to count your low carb. Your low carb have to, everything have to do with your dieting. It is very important as a diabetic patient, which other one you fall into, to know how to count your carbs. It is very important. Adopting a lower carb diet can help with weight loss and lowering your blood glucose level. I've explained it before in my previous video. If you understand how to count your carbs, it's going to help you reduce your weight. At the same time you're reducing your weight, it helps you to reduce your level of your blood uh, sugar in your bloodstreams. Okay? So be, because whatever carbohydrate you take will be converted into glucose into your bloodstream that will hamper the level of sugar in your bloodstream. It's going to raise it high. Remember, when you go to a shop and in that labeling it says zero sugar, always look at the carbohydrate to know what is the percentage. It is very important. So don't think because it's zero, it's fine for me for you to consume and then you are seeing 37, 40, 50 carbohydrate. No, because once you eat that carbohydrate, it's going to combine it into glucose into your bloodstream and it's going to also continue, you are going to continue having the same problem. So you're going to learn how to count your carbs, okay? It is very important. See a dietitian to tell you what to avoid, what to eat, all those dietary sugars, you have to avoid it. So those are the low carb, okay? Because low carb help you to reduce your weight. At the same time when you are reducing your weight, you are reducing the level of sugar in your bloodstream. You are controlling your sugar levels. So it's very important that you understand that. So this is where I'm going to stop today. And I hope that you enjoyed my program today. I hope that uh, I've impacted some knowledge to some of my people that doesn't understand what diabetes is all about. So please continue to follow me. Continue to subscribe. I'll be dropping videos. And once I drop them, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you once again for coming to my channel, Managing Diabetics. Thank you. Bye.